hey everyone, Hazel's joining me today. So anyway, um, she just wanted to be part of things, I guess. Hi, I'm Holly, Psychic Medium, here to do your Monday reading. Woo! And, um, well, kind of to do your Monday reading. Come on, baby, I need you to scoot over. Come on, come on, little girl. A little butt in the camera there. Thank you. All right, so um, I always like to say I, I am not a trained card reader or, or oracle tarot or oracle card reader. Um, I am an energy reader. I like using the cards as a jumping off point. Now, what I will also say is that I have done my work, though. I've done a lot of individual work. I have um, worked with other practitioners. I have... So it's not like I just come out and wing it. You know, I, I have done my work. I've done my research. I've done my studying. I've done all those things on my own. Um, I know that there are a lot of accredited or classes you can take for accreditation now, and that's what I mean. So, but I have studied my entire lifetime in this work. And so, you know, um, I don't want you to think I just decided one day, hey, I think I'm going to randomly do some stuff in the spirit realm. No, it, 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 it was... Um, it took a lot of work and uh, to get to the point that I felt comfortable expressing a message and in what I was receiving. So that that is just that. So what is the vibe today? What is the vibe for Monday? I got this mug out and it's my Chakra Kitty uh, mug and a friend of mine, <laughs> I see you Hazel, a friend of mine gave this to me years ago and she is no longer in this world. Um, in that incarnation and is missed and she is missed dearly she was a, a good friend but anyway so the message is be in balance now uh, before coming on or hitting the record button I decided to pull from the inner child Oracle to kind of confirm the messages um, the feeling is one of anticipation and it's time to it's time to step into strength to be balanced and grounded and even though it might be a little scary and we don't always know eventually what the outcome will be but you know what we have free will and this is a general reading you have free will i want you to remember that more than anything you have the ability to make changes whether they're small or large and sweeping changes but you can make changes in your life that could end up having greater impacts than you could imagine on your life or in your life so i pulled several cards from this deck inner child oracle and this is what they are and in the order they came out. Card 30, say yes. Say yes. Now is the time to be open and receive. Card 36, today is the day. It is time to begin the journey. Card 41, you can do hard things. It is not impossible it is not as impossible as it may feel. In card 38, you are enough. Do not, you do not, let me pull back and say that again. You do not have to give more. You are enough. I love that light in the background. All right, so what I'm getting from all of this that it is time to ask for the open doors. We've been asking for doors to open. We've been asking Spirit, show me the door. But now it's time to walk through it. Now is the time to step up and into your strength and into your power and walk through that door. Today is the day to begin. We can talk, we can prep, we can plan, but at some point you just have to take the first step. You can do hard things. It doesn't always mean it's going to be easy. It doesn't always mean childbirth is not easy. But if you want a child of your own, that's way the way it's got to happen. Um, 
on a much uh, easier, more simple scale, if I want a room to be a certain color because that makes me feel more at peace in my space, I got to get out the, the roller and the paint and do it. And that is not fun. You know, it's again, that's a silly example to use, but things sometimes going, the idea of going back to school or the idea of joining a different workforce or the idea of learning a new trade or skill or craft or anything, it can be daunting and it can be scary, but you won't know unless you try. And if you do it and you decide you don't like it, you won't have to worry about it or question it ever again. So say yes to your heart's desire. And that's the other part of that that I'm hearing. And they're saying now I'm getting it even more close to what the intention is. Say yes to your heart's desire. Today is the day you can do it and you are enough. I mean, I don't think the message needs to be any clearer than that. So let's get into messages. Light Sears. Yeah, okay. Deciding which deck they want me to gravitate toward. The Energy and Spirit Oracle, okay? And on the bottom, Shamanic Healer. So whatever form of healing you feel like works best for you, that is, that's it. Maybe some of you are embarking on a um, path with healing. Okay, this, this wanted to... Animal totems. All right, we will look up. We will look up some animal totems too. But if you uh, and it's no coincidence, came on the heels of the shamanic work. So, what else is in this stack? All right, so we've got animal totems, shamanic work, soulful appreciation, archangel Raziel, wisdom, inspiration, and akashic records, and creation. And I'll show you these cards: animal totem, shamanic healer. Soul appreciation with the butterflies versus the coins. You know, where is your value? Where do you place value? And why are you doing things? Archangel Raziel and creation. There is a separate message in this. Uh, what is it, please? Spirit, help me out. What is the what is the separate message with that group of cards for someone? Um, why are you doing what you're doing? Is it for intrinsic value? Is it for monetary value? Be honest with yourself because that's the only way you'll, you will succeed in whatever way you choose. If it's purely for monetary value, come clean and be honest with yourself. Uh, and that is when it will grow and you will, for some, it's going to be starting a business or venue for other people to come in and practice who do not necessarily have a business mind. If this, whatever this is that you want to do, and I feel like it is a blend of spirituality and money, so which I know most people think can't coexist, but the person who, say, puts together a big event, they have to have a business mind. They have to look at the logistics. They have to look at what it's going to cost. They have to look at, will there be food? Will there be, how will they get people in? How will they market? That takes a really keen business sense. But maybe you want people who aren't in that business mindset to come in and offer whatever abilities they have. So it is possible to be involved in the spiritual work and be a business person. But maybe you're on the other end of it. What is what is your goal? If you want to do what makes your heart sing and say yes to making your heart sing, be honest about that too. And understand that you may need help with the financial aspect or with the business aspect or maybe getting a website together. Or if you're going back to school, for some of you, I think there's a medical component. For some of you, there's going to be someone who wants to blend Western and holistic medicine and someone is wanting to do homeopathy work and um, perhaps take courses about herbalism and homeopathy, you have to be very careful. Whenever it, you suggest something to someone and they're ingesting it, once it's in your system, it's in your system. So 
that's something that I would highly suggest you not just wing it or intuit your way through it um, because you don't want to hurt anyone. You need to know what other medications they are taking. I feel like I'm busting someone's chops here. Um, but if you are if you are making tinctures or herbal concoctions and combinations or suggesting supplements, you need to know what that person that you're suggesting this for, what medications are they taking? What conditions do they have? Are they getting ready to have surgery? Do they all, I mean, is this going to thin, is supplements will create a blood thinning effect. And if they're getting ready to have surgery, they could bleed out on a table. So it is important that all these things be uh, understood. So um, I don't know where that's coming from or why, but uh, be aware of what you're recommending. Okay. And uh, they're also telling me about the three sources. In the past, uh, the recommendation was always have three distinct and separate resources to confirm how someone might react or what the possible side effects are if you combine certain things or certain herbs or supplements or vitamins, whatever. Um, homeopathic remedies, it does, you know, whatever it is. So, um, but they have to be reputable sources. Right now, because of the internet, uh, you can find anything you want that will say anything you want. So you have to make sure they are reputable sources. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, that, that's all I need to say about that. Someone needed to hear that. Um, okay. Now, separate reading from this deck, Energy and Spirit Oracle. What, where did it go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> all right. It just said, open it up. I love this card so much. I think it's about my favorite one in this deck. It is love, acceptance, and romance from the healing heart. And look at that big golden heart. I love that so much. And for anybody, I'm not trying to, from the previous message, I'm not trying to dissuade you from being that type of healer. If you want to look at homeopathy, if you want to look at holistic medicine, if you want to look at being an herbalist, I am not dissuading that at all. It is necessary and we need it. But understand that if you are treating people, that's a whole different world and you do need to have some training. Okay. All right. So. The he and that's my personal opinion. You can do whatever you want. It's your world um, that you live in. All right, so the healing heart. I could feel an expansion within myself when I saw this and really looked at it. Um, I could feel it. I could feel my heart open and expand. Help me out, Spirit. What do you want the collective to know about that? All right, for another group in the collective, and this is another reading, um, you're getting ready to get the answer that you seek about a matter of the heart. For someone, this is going to relate to a situation as a parent to a child. Uh, I feel like there's a, a someone with a very young girl who's going through questions uh, with a young daughter who's going through questions who may be thinking of separating or getting sole custody or doing something like that, you're going to get the answer you need and you're, how to handle a situation. And you are, you're going to have to do this on your own. I feel like it's for one of two reasons, either, you don't even have to work to get custody. It's almost like the the father in this equation is gone. I don't know if it's through death or through just skipping town and disappearing. I don't know which it is. For some of you, it might be one, some another, but it doesn't feel like this person is even involved in this child's life any longer. And I'm getting the age of six. So if she's around that age, the daughter... Um, some of you may wonder, what are you going to do? And you're kind of having a, some anxiety and panic about it. You are going to be fine. You will be able to support this child. You may have to get some help from uh, and assistance from the, the government for a, a short period of time. And then you are going to rebound and get on your feet. The father's family for this child 
is not going to be really helpful. They are, they were, they, they enabled his dysfunction. And so they're blaming you that he's gone now. And his issues were his issues. And it had nothing to do with you or having a daughter. He just, he just couldn't handle it and bailed either by choice. He, he created his own exit. So either he killed himself or he moved on or he just left and skipped town. But I don't think his family is going to come through and help very much. Eventually, they are going to miss him enough that they will want to have a relationship with their with their granddaughter. And there could be aunts and uncles involved. But um, it's going to be a couple of years down the road. And by then, this child may not really want anything to do with them. And you may not want her to have a whole lot of interaction with them because they kind of created his, they enabled him and didn't, anyway, so I don't know, that's going to be your call, and that's a couple of years off, but for right now, you're going to be fine, you're going to heal from this, your daughter's going to heal from this, she is your child, she is just like you, she, I think, looks a little bit like him, but she is, she has your strength, which is a good thing, and then um, you are going to meet a partner, you are going to meet a man who will be a father to this girl. I believe when she is about seven or eight. So it's going to, it's going to take about a year or so. And I don't think there's a coincidence that that's when the biological father's family will want to come back into her life because they realize there's someone that she is going to see as the father now. And he is a I, okay, I'm just going to put this out there. He is a much better option because he is stable. He is loving. He is uh, the he he works hard. He takes care of the people he loves. He takes care of his friends. Um, this is a good man. He may wear a uniform, uh, and that could be. I I don't think it's military potentially security or police, but it could just be a uniform like he's he works in a shop somewhere because he he works with his hands, but he is he's a solid old he's a big old solid man. Um and he makes you feel safe. The other guy did not. Um because you were always kind of bailing him out of life circumstances. Okay, so that's a reading for someone else. Boy, they're coming in today. Hazel honey, what do you want? Um Thank you. Please get your butt out of my face. Thank you. I love you, little girl, but come on now, little poopy butt. All right. Um, what else? All right. So we've already had a couple of different messages for different elements. Um, again, this this one's gonna be <laughs> this one's gonna be hard to. Um, uh, dip, well, yeah, we've had different parts of different messages for different parts of the collective. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm always unsure what to call things sometimes. Um, let's see this one. No. Hazel, honey, come on. Okay, I, you know what? I think I'm going to, yeah, this deck, Unfolding Path. This one may be a little shorter than normal. Here's the unfolding path box because little miss here is kind of all up in my space here and she, she's wanting something. I don't know what's going on here. I may have to figure out what's going on. Hi, baby. All right. Okay. They said to open it to the middle. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Someone, because I'm it goes back to this whole thing about making choices. There you go. About making choices because it feels like people are getting, whomever, if this resonates with you, the choices that are being made now, <laughs> the choices that are being made now are choices that are going to bring security and stability into your life. So, you're going to have security and stability as a result of the choices you make. Now, you may have to work a little bit and work for them, and it will uh, it, <laughs> it will bring you happiness and it will because it will bring you stability. The what ifs will calm down very quickly. 
um, you are just at the beginning stage of this and you might still be working on the, the direction it will take and applications and that kind of thing. But um, you're going to make it and you're going to make this work. Okay, I, clearly something's going on that I need to step. <laughs> That's a perfect shot. Yeah, Hazel has a heart condition and she has outlived her prognosis by three years. I guess I'm talking about you. So the vet just said she doesn't know she's sick, so don't tell her. And she just plugs on like a trooper, clearly. So she's on her own time frame, and it goes to show that free will is real. Humans and animals have it. All right, I am sending so much love to all of you. Um, pretty fast and rapid messages happening today. So it will be interesting to see what happens the rest of, of today. Um, okay, and I will see you on... <laughs> I will see you on Tuesday morning, okay? I'm sending love to all of you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.